Holy macaroni, folks. I didn't realize this thing was going so long. All of a sudden, I look over and my camera stops. It hits the 27 minute mark and it turned off. So I have to make a part two, but I'll make this quick. quick. I'm going to wrap it up because uh, I know I think I left off at the beach. So one morning I'm, I'm talking about water and how it is to get hurt and you got to be careful you have to watch out. One morning I come out, the water by our beach is crystal clear. It's, oh, it really is. It's unbelievable. It's really truly <clears throat> God's country. I look out and I see a dark formation, or not formation, yeah, dark spot in the water and I thought, geez, what's that? What is that over there? I walk there, I look, there must have been about 20 to 30 urchin in the water. You know, so we have coral, we have rock, but we have some urchins. Sometimes they all of a sudden you look at the beach in the water and it's like they're waiting for you to step on them. You step on them, boom, there goes your vacation, folks. You're going to be in trouble. Yeah, so uh, I know what I was talking about, uh, which I got cut off, sorry, in part one. Water shoes, how important water shoes are. You need to have water shoes. You're going to be going around water. You need to bring water shoes to the Philippines. There's different types of water shoes. Uh, you know, you can go get, you can go for the cheapest where they're, they're at, uh, you know, like the convenience stores. Uh, I didn't want to mention stores names, but I think this is important. Walmart or Target, they sell them spring or summertime water shoes. You can get them for like $15 for a pair of water shoes, or you can get better ones at other stores like, uh, you know, order them online. They're you know, thick rubber, but you want to have water shoes in the Philippines. I recommend them, folks, because... Uh, you know, I, you know, maybe if you're at a resort, it's okay. Maybe you're in a big city, Manila, in a, in a hotel pool, it's okay. But if you're going where I'm at or other province areas, you're going to need to have water shoes. <clears throat> Do I wear them all the time? Not really. I'll have uh, nice uh, gym shoes or walking shoes. But when I get around water, if I know I'm going to be hanging around a beach or the stream or a river, I bring them or I wear them. I wear them. I get some good wa uh, water shoes, and I have some good water shoes, and I like to wear them. And plus, you know, you get in the water, or, you know, I've gone up to the mountains with water shoes, and you go through a, through a stream, and you come out of the stream, and the water flows away. Now, I don't have any f marks, I don't have any cuts or open sores on my feet. I will tell you, folks, again, I've been going there since the 80s. I've never, thank God, never had a problem, never had an issue, but I am ready. If something happens, I am prepared, you know. Uh, yeah, I go like I, and I can't remember if I covered this, uh, if this was in part one, and so I'm sorry if I rehash it, but it's important. But if I'm going through the mountains and I get through a, a weedy tree, a, a lot of grass, you know, I'm careful of where I'm, I'm going because, uh, yeah, there's, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, could be, you never know what's in that grass, right? Snakes, spiders, whatever. So you got to be careful, folks. You got to be careful. Uh, do I wear jeans there? No, I don't, I don't, I have a pair of jeans, but I don't go walking in the mountains with them. I stay along pads and I, you know, I'm on there. I'm on vacation, folks. So I'm not going on a hiking trip. I don't have a corpsman or a medic or a paramedic with me. So it's me. So I have to be careful. I got to be smart, you know. And as you can see, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, you know, uh, a young person anymore. So you got to be careful. Anyways, folks, I just wanted to wrap it up. Uh, hope this helped you. If any questions, you know, comment below. And hey, do me a favor. Subscribe. Kind of a new channel. Uh, not always the Philippines, as you've seen, uh, but uh, soon I will be recording from the Philippines. But uh, I love going there. It truly is God country, but you got to be prepared. you got to get your first aid kit together. Uh, and, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Maybe you have some better ideas. Maybe there's something I'm missing, you know, so let me know. I'm, I'm always ready to learn some new things, okay? All right, folks, we'll see you now. Let me get around over to turn the camera off. I can't believe I... I uh, let that thing run so long. Thank you, folks. We'll see you now. Bye-bye.